Om Shanti. Welcome to 30th of Mass Quality Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to have an infinite intellect or a broad intellect, which we generally say. An infinite intellect or a broad intellect has got nothing to do with the size of the brain. It has got something to do with how much clean and clear our heart and mind is. So that we can think beyond ourselves. That is a broad and divine and a wide or an unlimited intellect. So Father says, may you have a broad and unlimited intellect. And by remaining seated on your seat of self-respect, make all your powers work as per your orders. With your broad and unlimited intellect, use your servers. Our servers are what? Our mind, our intellect and our habits. In the form of all your powers. In the task at the right time. Not later on, not afterwards, but at the right time. Remain intoxicated with the titles you have directly received from God. Like, I am the Master Almighty Authority. I am an ancestral soul. I am a divine soul. I am an infinite server of the world. I am God's infinite being or I am the ancestral being who is concerned and caring about everybody. So these are certain swamans or these are certain titles or these are certain self-affirmations which we can use on a daily basis whenever the mind is fluctuating. So remain intoxicated with the titles you have directly received from God. How do you get intoxicated? It's nothing to drink but it is something to keep on thinking in your mind. That's why we generally talk about Amrit, which is like an eternal nectar. And uh, that gives life to the soul actually. But this is not the liquid Amrit, but this is the knowledge which is going to give us power or going to be the nectar for our soul. So God says, remain intoxicated with the titles you have directly received from God by remembering them, by counting them, by thinking about them continuously. You get intoxicated. Just like any sports person or any person who has achieved something in their life, they've always stuck on to one belief and they keep on repeating it and they keep on believing it and they become that over a period of time. So remain seated on your seat of self-respect and you will experience all of your powers to be ever ready to serve. They will be waiting for your orders. So if you're not seated on the seat of self-respect, then we are looking for answers outside. But if we are seated on the seat of self-respect, then we already have the answers within us. We know what is the right direction and we understand what are the different options which we have. So remain seated on self-respect and you will experience all of your powers to be ever ready to serve. They will be waiting for your orders. So use your blessing and inheritance. Be a master, be yogi yukt. Be a master of self, that means the mind, the intellect and the habits. Be yogi yukt. That means we have to be connected with God and only then think about the solutions, think about the ways or methods and what would God do. And have your servers serve in a yukti yukt way and you will remain constantly happy. You will not repeatedly have to put in a request for anything. Something like you tell God in during a meditation, my mind is not stable or my heart is not feeling good or I am not having the right feelings or I am not feeling good today with my intellect it's not stable it is wavering around so god please help me no we don't have to give those kind of requests for anything so god has given us the power so that we can keep it constant we can use those powers we can use the knowledge to not beg to god but to have complete control over the self to learn more about it do visit a brahma center om shanti